Hey guys, time for another update. And we've got a pretty big update. Um, well, first of all, we got some cute little guests with us. Family pit bulls. I am doing a second Bible Basics book on the book of Philippians. Jonah was academic. It was formal in nature. And as much as I did enjoy that style, writing in that kind of style, Philippians is going to be more conversational. It is going to be more homiletical. It is going to be more expositional. So I'm really, really excited to begin writing. And there goes a dog doing messing up my camera. So before I actually get into this new book, I want to share what I feel is a key passage out of Philippians, and I'm starting in chapter 1, uh, verse 3. So if you're following along, you can read with me. I give thanks to my God for every remembrance of you, always praying with joy for all of you in my every prayer, because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. I am sure of this, that he who started a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. It is right for me to think this way about all of you, because I have you in my heart, and you are all partners with me in grace, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and establishment of the gospel. For God is my witness, how deeply I miss all of you, with the affection of Christ Jesus. And I pray this, that your love will keep on growing, in knowledge, in every kind of discernment, so that you can approve the things that are superior and can be pure and blameless in the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. I love Philippians. It's one of my favorite letters that Paul wrote. So I'm super, super excited to actually begin more writing on it. Um... I've already wrote three chapters already, um, and those were for homiletics when I was writing sermon manuscripts. So almost every word in those manuscripts and what you've heard on YouTube and SoundCloud, it's almost all going to be word for word when the book is ready for to be published and you guys get your hands on it. So, yeah. I'm going to start writing the first chapter next week, and I'm hopefully I will be able to pump out a chapter a week, depending on how things go. Um, life does happen. I might be behind a little bit, but I am expecting to be completely done at least by the end of September. Um, 15 chapters, three are already done, so that me that leaves me with 12. So that's about 12 weeks end of September is what I'm is what my goal is. And it's going to be thicker of course than Jonah was. Jonah was like a measly 28 pages that I did. Um yeah, so I am just super super excited to get into actually writing. And I've always wanted to be a writer when I was a little kid. I loved writing. I remember like looking back at the crap that I wrote and thought crap this is crap um and this is my passion too I love teaching the Bible I love explaining the Bible I love talking about the Bible so what better way what better thing to write than something that you're passionate and that you love I can't think of anything stronger than our passions the passions that got, that we have should come from God first and foremost so there's that after which if you're wondering if I'm going to be planning on any other books or whatnot I am considering doing another humorous book uh just Life, sto life stories, Bible passages I that I quickly sermonize, if you will. So I hope to do that when I'm done with the book of Philippians. 
Another thing that I want to mention too, and this goes along with Philippians, the theme that I picked for Philippians is real Christian living. What does it mean to be a real Christian according to Paul in Philippians? So that's the premise of this new commentary. I am just super excited. I am probably going to say that a lot in this video. I am really super duper excited about writing another book. I just, I just love writing. So with that in mind, with the uh, book, um, what I'm wanting to do, and please let me know if you want to be a part of this, is I'm going to be asking you to sit in front of your camera and for a minute and a half talk about what it means for you to be a real Christian or if you're not a Christian and you're watching this you want to be a part of this ask yourself what does it mean to live real what does it mean to be true to yourself so I want you to think about that if you want to do a minute and a half video please let me know message me I would greatly appreciate that. That is pretty much everything that I wanted to cover in this video. Um, yeah. So if you have any prayers, please let me know. I'll, I'm always praying for you guys that are watching this. Follow me on Facebook, on Twitter. Yeah. Thank you.